Hello, Mzansi. Sanam gela gu dijo libu pilo la kwa SABC2. The aim of our show is to help deal with food-related issues so that we can live happier, healthier lives. Every week, sinimemi kuti nisipuze no ma yine nifunugi ya zimo gusa. Besege china sleta all ngondo ngondo betu okutipa pendule imibuzo yenu. Now we're trying to get to the level of cook We're tackling anti-aging foods because we're pinned here. We'll be able to post a video on our Facebook page with a few questions. Galolta. She sent a post on behalf of Antwa King. Antwa King, Tiwa. She's a BTT, born before technology. Hello, DJ Lebupilo. Did the DJ say we're talking about DJ and how we're asking to fall like a pill? Since that is true, so we're trying to pin the level. We're trying to get to the level of Antwa King before we're pinned on the level of Antwa King. I'm Mela, I'm from Emma, and I'm 37 years old. My aunt has a problem with skin, and I try to use the creams, or at least I complain that I have to use the creams. So, I'm going to use the creams, and I'm going to use the creams. I'm going to use the confidence, and I'm going to groove back. I'm going to use the creams, and I'm going to use the creams. We are joined by a favorite GP here to Dr. Homoto Mohapi. She's also a medical expert. She'll be answering Imibuzo or Gapindiwe. Please join us in our college. Join us on Zabalazo, go Twitter, na go Facebook, or go Instagram. On the same phone, go to the email on djolibupilo at sabc.co.za. We are managing our hands. We are anti-aging. We are anti-aging. Welcome back. Usasa nam lagu dijo libu pilo. Nam tanya zikulima ngogula that can make you look older than you actually are. The expert here today is going to give valuable answers to imibuzo ka pindiwe. Before say it all, u pindiwe uye wati, u antwa ke u warid, u guti she's looking older than she actually is. Mkambu ugu lagu lai, asas. She has specific questions that she posted on our Facebook page and we'll be answering the Mibuzo I can answer you with our expert. You can never say on the subject, go Twitter, go Instagram, go Facebook, or over to share your email, go to libupilo at sabc.co.za. Dogotel, let's enter this thing. What is the whole take on, on how we look, out, look after ourselves and the take on the skin? Well, um, the skin is one of the first things we see when we see somebody. Actually, when people walk into our practice, um, normally, I look at their age and I look at their skin and I'm thinking something is wrong with you. Mm. I can t You can tell somebody's health just looking at their skin. Mm. The skin is made up of three layers. Now, we're going to learn new words. Mm -hmm. um, it's all right. The middle layer is called the dermis. Mm -hmm. I like to start with the middle layer because mm -hmm. then you understand the top layer is just the epidermis. epidermis. It's yeah. on top. Right. And the bottom layer is called the hypodermis. Okay. It's underneath. Mm -hmm. So those are the three layers of skin. Mm -hmm. And each one of them... Um, needs to be healthy for you to look healthy. Mm. So in the hypodermis, right at the bottom, that's where you have your fat. So mm -hmm. you know you have that plump look to mm -hmm. your face. That's where it's, it's coming from, in the hypodermis. In your dermis, that's where you have your hair follicles. Mm -hmm. It's almost like um, in the soil where the roots are. Uh -huh. So your hair follicles are there. And your sebaceous glands, this is where you make your oils. So that's your dermis, the middle one. Then the top one, what you have is what we call the epidermis. epidermis yeah. This is where you have your tightly knit um, cells mm. that stop you when you're in a bath so that water doesn't rush inside mm -hmm. of you. Also that you don't lose what's inside of you. Mm. Um, some people have dark mahogany skin. Right. Some people have lighter skin. Right. In the epidermis, that's where you have your cells called the melanocytes. Mm -hmm. This is where melanin, melanin. which is a pigment, ah. is made. Uh -huh. So that's how your, your, your skin is based. Your skin is almost like a, it's like a third kidney. It mm. gets rid of waste material. Mm. So you need to make sure that you're exercising so that you're sweating out the extra water, you're sweating out the extra salt. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, today we will especially talk about what you can put on the inside, mm -hmm. starting with drinking your water, obviously, right. and then what other foods you can use for that. All right. Let's hear Pindiwe's question. And it is... And two are Kadija Tadija and Honajual, Tetan Hurle Talola, Heliskela Valitle, Calabacal, Little Moza had some Miss Hanin Talola, Kitty Fee. Which foods contribute to her aging faster? Well, it's probably foods that we all like mm. the sweets. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. You know, and here we have, oof, it looks very nice, some chocolate. Some apple crumble. Mm. Who wouldn't want to eat this? Apple and crumble has apple though. Yes, you see, when you have your carrot cake and your apple crumble, mm. you and your strawberry, whatever. Yeah. You can tell yourself that you're eating something healthy. Mm. But what you need to understand is, especially if refined sugar has been used yes. in it, refined sugar being the word, when it arrives in your body and it's broken down mm. into glucose, we know that all starches get broken down into to glucose, glucose yes. right? When it's broken down, if there's too much of it, it ends up in your skin. Mm. And what happens when it ends up in your skin is it attaches to a protein, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And what happens is that then your skin can become hard and stiff because the protein are hard. That's why you don't get that plump look that you have going on. And that's because of the refined sugars. Mm -hmm. But not only the refined sugars, if you're eating a lot of white rice mm -hmm. because it doesn't have any fiber. Right. So any refined sugars will get dumped into your blood, can end up in your skin, mm. attaching to the protein, mm. changing that which causes the structure to be firm and causing either to be too rigid mm. or causing it to be too saggy and you lose that plump, firm look on your face. Because back in the day, Doc, our grandmother's grandmothers had great skin. It's because they were not eating so much processed food. They were eating a lot of, of plant-based, rich foods, yeah. which is why they maintained the plump so they lessen on their skin. And if you're going to be baking, let's say, mm. you are going to use your, your cane sugar, you're uh -huh. going to take the flour, which is milled, so it right. still has the fiber in it. The key is fiber. Ah. What fiber does is it holds back the sugar mm -hmm. so that it's not dumped into, this, into the blood. So this is it, and what else? So white, white rice, white bread, mm. we really should not be eating white bread in this day and age. Right. Really, not just for your skin but any refined sugar. So when you look at the labels, if you see that it's got high corn fructose syrup. Yes, that's the danger. So you see those canned, so you're, you're having your canned peaches, <sighs> but there's just so much sugar. Peaches yeah. don't taste like that. You would rather make your own. Another thing that we all love so much, the chips. Oh, yes. What's in there that can cause us to age, Doc? Well, these are the things that we all, well, some of us some. still love. Mm. Um, these are some chips, high in salt content, but they also have fats. Remember what makes us addicted to food is the fact that they have um, sugar, mm -hmm. they have salt, and they have fat. If you can have something with all those three things, it is engineered for your craving. Mm. You will just be addicted to wow. it. So we have here some chips that have salt and they also have trans fats, mm. but we also have our processed meats. Mm. Um, which after the debacle on listeria, I eh. thought people were going to leave alone. Never. But let's talk about it in terms of aging. Highly processed, carcinogenic, meaning they cause cancer. Mm -hmm. um, it has been said by the World Health Organization, but also high in fat mm. um, and high in salt. Mm -hmm. um, and when I talk about salt, Cabo, mm. really, I'm talking about this kind of salt. Mm. Because we know that we need salt in our body, right. isn't it? Yes. But the salt that is used in these products is white salt. Mm -hmm. Salt in nature does not, is not just sodium and chloride. Mm -hmm. It's between 72 to 94 different minerals, mm -hmm. meaning there's potassium yes. and, the, and there's magnesium. Right. And when they come into the body, they are balanced and they help to work your body to work well. But what we have done as humanity, this is cheap as just sodium and chloride. When it comes into your body, what does salt do is it retains water. Mm -hmm. So then you will tend to have that puffy look, mm. um, even having bags under your mm. eyes. But if you have too much salt, because your kidneys will be like, we cannot have so much, so much yeah. sodium chloride. Mm -hmm. 
because we're still making potassium and magnesium. Right. So it will try to get rid of the extra salt and it can leave a dehydrating effect on your body. Mm. So one person may become puffy because they are retaining the water and yeah, another, depending on the levels of salt they're having, may end up with a dehydrated skin mm -hmm. because of the salt content right. and it causes other damage. So, 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 so just the salt, not the, the pink Himalayan salt, does it do something no, different? not yes. So if you need, a person needs to change from the sodium chloride to the pink Himalayan salt mm -hmm. or your Celtic salt or your... Your, your sea salt, mm -hmm. because okay. those have all the minerals and there's a balance, so then your body's able to work with that. Okay. Now that's not all, oh, right? Sorry. A lot of people were drinking in December. Oh, and the gumnand. The gumnand. Yes, but these things are not good for our skin. We know this. Do you know that you want to kill us with this beer? <laughs> because I've had people say, we love the Jolibu Pillow, but I want to talk about how this beer, can we just discuss this beer and the wine and this fizzy drink that's gone flat now? This fizzy drink, how these contribute to our skin aging? You know, so we're at a party, we're celebrating, you're turning 40, life is beginning and this is what you're drinking. And this is what you're eating. Uh, exactly, this is what you're eating right. and then you wonder why you're aging faster. Yeah. All right, yeah. and then yeah. instead of life beginning at 40, life starts to end <sighs> at 40. Yes. Um, beer, uh, these, these two, beer the and beer wine. and the wine, the alcohol causes dehydration mm -hmm. in the skin. Mm -hmm. So another person, we're coming back to that, but another thing that's also Ooh. causing dehydration, because you're coffee. thinking, oh, I need, I need something to help me. Coffee. For every cup of caffeine that you drink, you need three cups of water to replace the water that you're losing. Uh -huh. Now let's stop a moment. Can you imagine? Your body will say, okay, so now I'm losing water. I need to save water for the circulation. I need to yes. save water for your brain. Yes. Who is going to suffer the most? Your skin. Uh -huh. Because then there won't be any water left for your skin to be hydrated. So the beer and the wine, the alcohol and the caffeine will have a dehydrating effect on your body. Mm. That's why Siti Abatubane puts her face. Yes. What does that mean? It, it means is. it has affected the quality yes. oh. of your skin. The fizzy drink, obviously, we know it has toxins in right. them. It has sugar, sugar in it. So this is how your skin gets affected. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this show today and this is how you're living, think there are consequences. Mm -hmm. And if you make the changes today, then the process of starting to restore your skin mm -hmm. and look beautiful mm -hmm. and radiant without spending just on the outside right. starts today. Well, let's hear Pindiwe's next question. And do I get it ready for us when they're more ADJ or ask us of a lack of pain? Now, they always assume the food that will help you age gracefully is not tasty. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't agree. Now, everybody knows what this is. We all have green pepper, we've got some nachis, or you can have orange Oranges. or grapefruit. This is what gives us vitamin C. Remember the collagen we were talking about? Yes. Yes. In, in manufacturing it, in making it to make your skin firm and plump, vitamin C is required, mm -hmm. right? And then so these, the orange, the grapefruit, the lemon, the bell peppers, whether they're red or green yellow. or yellow, mm -hmm. yes, a robot. it's going to give you vitamin C, very good source of vitamin C. So eat your fruits, your citrus fruits, mm -hmm. and eat your salad, just put some of that in. Mm -hmm. And then avocado, a great source of good fat mm -hmm. and a great source of vitamin Vitamin E. Vitamin E oil is very expensive. So just eat avocado, plant an avocado tree and have it for years to come. And this is a great starting point for good skin. And you know they've messed us up with the whole packaging thing. Because you mm -hmm. know with the with the the bad food, they've packaged it in a certain way to make it seem so attractive. Mm -hmm. But this is natural packaging. You get something like this and you make it exciting by you know, you're cutting it up, you add some Himalayan salt, a bit of lemon, and you can actually have a, make a meal of this. You can actually use it as a butter for your toast. Uh -huh. Because once you've mashed it all up, you can, you can use that. Because right. remember, butter is going to mostly have bad fats. Uh -huh. um, so your avocado mm. comes in to replace those kind of fats. Right. Apart from the vitamin C, by the way, that comes from the citrus fruits, yes. a vitamin C is also, I mean, it's also an antioxidant. Yes. When we talk about... Aging is like oxidation. You know when you have a, when you have a pipe mm -hmm. and you leave it out in the rain mm. and it starts to rust? Mm. That's what 
oxidation is. Ah. That's what's happening in your body. Oh. But vitamin C is an antioxidant. Anti ah. It's anti-rust. It's anti-aging, anti right. literally. Right. So it comes in and protects your cells from the damage that comes from other things. Because we live in a world where there's bad fumes mm -hmm. and people smoking around us. So this is going to cause... Uh, form a protection mm. against that and also build you with good skin. Hmm. And then you've got, oh, I love this. Every time I cook, I add some turmeric. You know, turmeric is one of my favorite. Yes. Turmeric is powerful. Mm. It's not only um, a spice. Not only it's also anti-inflammatory. Yes, it's, it's medicinal right. in terms of it's anti-inflammatory. Inflammation, as I said, is an insult to the body. Mm -hmm. We keep going there. Mm. If your skin is insulted, it's going to be breaking out. Mm. So you can use turmeric in your food. You can make it as a tea where you take a teaspoon of turmeric with a teaspoon of maybe some ginger. Mm -hmm. You can put your water and honey, hot water, and you drink it as a tea mm -hmm. three, four times a day. Right. And that's going to reduce the insult that's happening within your body. Uh -huh. So cook with it, drink it as a tea, and we'll also tell you how to use it externally right. later on. Exciting. And then the nut stock. Yes. Um, I think here we have some, oh, we've got a variety of nuts, mm -hmm. some cashew nuts. And yes, they may be a little bit more expensive. expensive I know. Um, but... Look at it as a, instead of buying those expensive products for your skin, buy some yeah. nuts. You eat, you take care of your skin at the same time, and they're going to add good fats mm -hmm. to your skin so that the next time you're walking out in the sun, you actually glow when you're kissed by the sun instead of having it wrinkly and spotty and right. things like that. Yeah. Understand this. Your health is your wealth. Mm -hmm. Without your health, there isn't really much you can do. True. So are you saying these sesame seeds are my wealth? Oh, yes, absolutely. So sesame seeds and not just sesame seeds, also your pumpkin seeds, your sunflower mm -hmm. seeds, your mm -hmm. flax seeds, mm -hmm. they're a great source of fiber. Remember I said that fiber will hold oh. back um, the sugar. They're also a good source of zinc, which you need for your skin. Mm -hmm. um, they're also a good source of uh, copper and other minerals that you need um, for your skin. So what you can do, because people are thinking, what am I going to do with, with seeds? You just put them in your cereal, you add them to your porridge, you um, can toast them and add them to your salads, and they just, you won't even know that they're there, but they will do the work that needs to be done. Let's hear what her last question is. And do I can use the Jody film who cleaners fashion so high from Kamun? Other foods that we can use. I know for a fact that you can up, you can put cucumbers around your eyes mm -hmm. for something. Tea bags as well. I don't know if that's yes, still a thing. Absolutely. And some evo on your skin. Yes. How do those work? So what you're using internally, you can also use externally um, and like I said because some of the things get absorbed into your skin you want to be careful about products that you apply on your skin mm -hmm. so let's let's use an example of what we've we've brought um, making a, a face mask a simple face mask at home or a scrub so her aunt has got skin that is damaged and um, the layer of skin on the top is dead, mm -hmm. so you want to scrub it away. Normally, people are like, oh, I can't afford to go for a facial. Mm -hmm. I can't do a lot of this and that. So all you do is you take equal measures of your... Brown sugar? Sugar. Brown sugar. Even mm -hmm. if you use your white sugar. You just want the roughness. You just want the roughness of it. And so you just mix that all together. Equal amounts of sugar and equal amounts of your honey. Um, honey has healing properties. What you want to do is you don't want to get syrup. You want to get... Honey. Okay, doctor, finally, please balance me here. I believe that you can be 40 and look 40. I believe that's how it's supposed to be. But we don't even know what 40 looks like anymore because a lot of people we see just, they just don't look good at 40. Do you mm. understand? So it's not that we're trying to make people to just look younger. Mm. We want you to look fresh. Maybe mm. perhaps that's the word to use because... Um, I think we're, we've, we've, we've just gotten used to aging so much quicker right. that we've accepted it. Mm -hmm. um, if you watch a clip of a woman in America mm -hmm. who is, um, she was in about in her 70s, mm -hmm. raw vegan diet, and she was in her 70s and she looked like a 30-year-old. Mm -hmm. This dispels the myth that we're supposed to age the way we're aging. Right. You're able to do so much more. It's not only going to benefit how you look, but the energy inside. that you have yeah, so and what you're able to do. So the food that we are eating when we change, when we reprogram our minds, doesn't just help us look good, but it helps us feel good. And when we feel good, we can do so much more. Yes. I have yet to see a person 
whose skin genuinely looks healthy, but they have a disease on the inside. Right. So often I diagnose people just by looking at their skin and say, you know. you've got a liver problem, you've got a kidney problem, uh -huh. just by looking at the skin. The skin is aging, but it's indicating what's happening inside. I love that. Your skin is aging, but it's indicating what's happening inside. Yo, doc, thank you so much. Facebook, Instagram, me, or email me, djolebupilo at sabc.co.za. The interview is being posted online for open to view, no and then they'll both take notes. Now you can log on and watch it again and again and again and again and again on SABC Education's YouTube channel. Almost we dollar we go back to Pilio to find out what she has learned from this show. Now don't forget you are part of this, so join us but Tabuya after the break. Welcome back. Usasa nam lagu dijo libu pilo on SABC2. When we met you pindi we earlier on live showing, we wanted to go to who antwaki you worried about aging faster. She wanted to know mthambe it's the food that you antwaki is eating. Asas. She has seen a conversation not doctor online. I guess it is swift we lagu pindi we to find out what she has picked up from today's chat with our expert. Se hlosa taba ke hore dilo tse doctor se mojwetse tse ntsona ka o fela hore a ska dija my aunt o dija tse tsotlhe ntse ke tlo yetsa go rekietse sho hore dijo tsa dija ngo tshwana le bo ma sweet tsuki re nga ka le tswai le di acha wa stop ba ho dijo including joala ha ka di stop ke nana o tla o tla nka na ko hore a tsofa ke le bo ha dijo le bo phelo le ntusitse thata gona ya nweng ke tlo gona le re ke thuse antiwa ka a je di jo tse tshwantseng hore di mo tshware hantle hore a ska tsofala ka pele a o iphela ka ndjena show yetu na mhlanje kodwa ni nga stress man ni a good show ya qhubeka online a ngi phonse nge tweet uthi at dijo le bophilo or um face ku facebook dijo le bophilo or via email dijo le bophilo at sabc.co.za but it's not because of the show, Layan Teleni, no goodness, Buzzer. Song a bonke, my land on the woods, and Mabanga Panda will move the Yenu out, Dololo, Idijo, Libopilo. Song Buzza via social media, via email, or if I could take over fit or kitchen or age gracefully, or young Padeli post, or Buzza no man of Nugas. Young understand, Mutambe, your question will be chosen as the question of the day for next week's show. Maslang and Labwa SABC2 for more Dijo, Libopilo, next week, same place, same time, more one, higher, more five is the date. Oyaza, bye bye.